Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a coin animation similar to this one. So let's get to it. This is our starting scene. As you can see, I already made the UI for this tutorial. That's because UI takes time. Uh, don't worry, I'll give you the settings for the UI. As you can see, I took a canvas. Then I changed the UI scale mode to escalate the skin size and give reference resolution. Also set the match value to 0.5. Then I took another image which is the container for our whole game over UI or you can say level complete here's the settings inside the container here is our level complete the text settings the important things are our image in this is our final score and the start here so one important thing you have to do is like your coin image should be anchored at the middle okay otherwise the system i'll show you would not work i mean it will work but there will be some kind of uh, weird behavior and finally i made the button here it's just a button with text at the gate that's it before i start coding we need to make a coin prefab that will go from here to there as you can see i already made the prefab if i drag and drop image to our container as you can see just an image component with this coin sprite by the way i will give you a downloadable link for this coin you will find it in video description now create a script let's call it coin manager create an empty object on the scene and drag and drop our coin manager let's rename it to coin manager open the script first let's delete the default methods and create a method called on get button clicked whenever we press our get button I'm going to call another method let's call it show coin we'll call our show coin from get button going to take reference for our coin prefab then going to take another reference for our coin parent then whenever user click the get button I'm going to instantiate a coin object And set its parent to coin parent. Now we are going to take another reference public transform coin start. I'm going to send coin object position to our coin start. So coin object Now let's go back to Unity Editor. We are going to set our coin prefab to image coin. And for the parent, we are going to give our game over container. And for a start position, I'm going to give this one. You can see on the screen. Then we need to set our button method. So drag and drop coin manager go to coin manager on get button clicked if you press play now get yep we generated a coin prefab as you can see here so generation is done now what we have to do is make it go from here to there for moving our coin object we are going to use a twinning library which is called dot twin Go to Unity Asset Store, search for Dotwin, and you can see here it's free. Add it to your asset, then go to Window, Package Manager, search for Dotwin, and import it. After Dotwin setup completion, go back to your script. I'm going to take another reference for our coin int, and we are going to make our coin object transform your do move 
to our coin int position and what should be our movement value i mean duration so take another variable let's call it move duration here and in dotlin there is a helper method which is called set is for is i'm going to make another variable for it so you can make modification from the editor so public is move is on our coin manager drag and drop the int image then let's give our move duration to like one and set is linearly let me show you what it does so if i press get you see and if we set our is to in back yeah, this is the one i want you can play with the, a lot of is function and each one will give you a different type of movement animation which is really cool now what i'm going to do whenever user press get button rather than generating one coin i'm going to generate a lot of them so let's take a variable call it coin amount make a for loop let's say initially we want to show like 10 coin if we press get it's just showing one that's because you see every coins moving from start to end at the same time for fixing the multiple coin movements i'm going to give a delay on each coin so i'm going to take a variable public float coin per delay here for target delay I'm going to send our target delay to show coin which will take and in dotwin there is another helper method which is set delay as input I'm going to set our delay what it does it makes the moving animation start with a delay uh, let me show you if I go back to Unity Editor, then set out delay like 0.1 set play and press get you can see yeah it's already looking good right let's change the is to in back if we play again now let's fix another problem as you can see if we press get all the coin start from this image but I don't want it. I want some kind of offset like some image uh, will generate from here, 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 here. So let's do that now. Before setting the start position of our coin object, I'm going to create an offset. So I'm going to use engine. Let's make it random. Make sure is random is from Unity engine class, not from the system. So random dot range 100 ref to 100 then for the y i'm going to copy the x value and for the z value i'm going to keep it like 0f take another variable called target pause and let's call it start pause i'm going to add my offset to coin start position and then set the coin object position to our start position let's go back to our unity editor if you press play you see every coin got a random offset but there is a problem 
can notice it like there is multiple problems so actually whenever our coin reaches the end is still active as you can see here but we want our coin image to deactivate itself or destroy itself after reaching the end value also whenever we are pressing the get all the coins are appearing suddenly which is not smooth on our do move method i'm going to take help from another dot in method which is called on complete this one gets called whenever our animation is done here i'm going to set our coin object game object that set text tips to false if you are not using some kind of object pooling you can destroy the object here but i suggest you please please use object pooling now let's fix the sudden appearance of the coins for that i'm going to make a coin object transform dot local scale to new vector tree sorry point one f then i'm going to create another dot in animation method which is called do a scale you're going to a scale to vector 3.1 and the animation duration will be the delay amount now if we go back to unity editor and press play you see yeah it's looking good and there is another problem right now our coin about is only 10 but it can be 100 too like 100 coin if you press get you see it's taking a long time in our script i'm going to take another variable which we called total delay whenever user press get button i'm going to calculate the coin per delay which is total delay divided by our coin amount so every time our delay is fixed amount it doesn't matter whatever the coin amount is so our delay is like 0.5 if you give like 100 coin it will take the exact same time you see normally what happens is after the delay amount we are going to update the text like coin or in many games after this animation user will see a continue or go to next button so let's do that i'm going to create a new method private void on any animation done i'm going to invoke it from get button click and for the delay amount i'm going to give like total delay plus move duration here i'm going to print move done go to unity editor press the get button here you see whenever it happens you can show a button or like update the score text whatever you want this is for it today guys if you have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below thank you guys for watching